but that's, uh, those are two of the ones. And then I'm also, of course, a chaplain at uh, a seniors independent living facility, two of them actually, Nora Garden and uh, the Peninsula in Sydney, British Columbia. Uh, there are about 100, 140 seniors, what we call seniors, we're supposed to call mature people today. <laughs> But uh, we run uh, monthly worship services uh, for them. Once uh, a Sunday in Norgard, and then one Sunday afternoon in the Peninsula. We also run discussion groups once a month for them on various topics, just to help uh, keep their mind active and agile. And then at times as well, I'll have dinner with people. I'm seen as a chaplain if they have any issues, or if they're struggling with issues, health issues, family issues. Uh, they're free to come and see me. And this is a new position with Norgard Estates. They've never had a chaplain before. And uh, I think we're the only one in the, uh, the city with a dedicated chaplain uh, at a private institution. So uh, I'm, uh, I'm enjoying it very, very much. I also do, no, I also do from time to time uh, uh, weddings and funerals, not so much uh, any more weddings. I seem to do a lot of funerals and memorial services these days, which speaks a lot of the demographics of uh, Sydney, which is very much a retirement town in, uh, in BC. I also do pastoral care work at a local church, and there I look after about another 150 people and their needs as well. And I uh, Give, uh, I think about 20 hours a week, 15 to 20 hours a week towards that particular ministry. Really enjoying it. I've been doing it now for five years and uh, thoroughly enjoying it. So that's some of the things that I do in my ministry.